Hi children! Today we're going to have another look at an information book as part of our story time. Now today we're going to have a look at this book which is all about police officers and in this book we're going to have a little think about some of the special features and the layout of the book. So let's take a look inside. The cover of an information book always tells us what the topic's going to be inside. And then look, here's our contents page. The contents page helps us to find useful information. Each section has got a title and a different page number. Let's have a look at two of the pages. Let's look at page eight, which is called On Duty. Police officers patrol the local community. People are less likely to break the law if there are police officers around. Police officers get to know the people in the area. Knowing the community helps them do their job better. Let's have a look at the next page, which is Solving Crimes on page 10. A crime is when someone breaks the law. A criminal might steal a car. He or she might break into houses or take things. People call the police when something is stolen. The police do their best to find the criminal. They interview people and search for clues. Look children, at the back of the book there's a special place which talks about staying safe. There's also a glossary which has all those special words that are in bold text. So children, did you like the little bit of music that was playing? That was my dishwasher. Um, inside this book, did you notice how the pictures were very, very big and bold? Now, if we have a look at the one which we looked at first on duty, it shows the policeman on duty doing their job and that's what happens in an information book there are lots of pictures to help you understand the writing that's in it our children i hope you're enjoying learning about information books and here's the story i want to share with you today and it's another tony mitten story which is all about patrolling police cars now just like the book we had yesterday it's got some rhyme in it and it's got lots of information but it's information that's written like it's a story so I hope you enjoy it. Patrolling almost anywhere in any neighbourhood. Police cars help police keep all things steady, safe and good. To get to an emergency police cars sometimes need to be there very quickly which means they have to speed. To warn the other traffic that they're going very fast, they're flashing lights and sirens signal, quickly let me past. For giving them instructions and to tell them where to go, the station contacts officers by two-way radio. Some cars have computers that can use the internet to access all the information that they need to get. Police cars carry radars to catch us if we're speeding. They point them at a car to get its speed shown as a reading. When a car is going too fast, police can make it stop. This car's getting cautioned by a frowning traffic cop. Police dogs use their sense of smell to seek a person out. This unit's used to carry clever dogs like this about. When officers catch criminals or suspects that they track, they take them to the station locked safely in the back. Some cars have sheets of glass or wire that firmly stand between the front seats and the back seats to make a safety screen. Police cars must be sturdy, like these two that have made an obstacle to block the road, a two-car barricade. Here's a tough push bumper. When it's put in place, it helps police push heavy things and clear away a space. And here's a flexi spotlight. It shines a beam of light. It's great for lighting up a scene. It's powerful and bright. 
Patrol cars have all kinds of things they need to take around. Neatly packed inside the boot, that's where they'll be found. They even hold first aid kits, so if you're hurt or bleeding, an officer can give you the attention you'll be needing. So when you see police cars as they cruise around, remember that they're there for you to keep you safe and sound. Our children, I hope you enjoyed that book. Now you might have noticed I've had to change where I was because the battery is running out on the iPad that I'm using. So I'll keep this quick. This book was tricky to read. I bet you could hear that, couldn't you, sometimes? It was more like a poem really than a story and it had absolutely loads of information, didn't it? So I'm looking forward to the one tomorrow. But until then, take care, have a lovely evening ducklings, enjoy your evening chicks, bye!